over again. 100.1 Moose FM. It's Bernard. The co-op community Christmas concert. It's going to be happening at the Lido December 12th from 7 p.m. till 9 p.m. Uh, one of the bands performing uh, they are Johnny and the Guns for Hire. And John from the group is joining me right now. How are you doing? Good. Good to be with you, Bernard. That's good. That's good. And uh, also, uh, how are you feeling about uh, being able to perform uh, for the community Christmas concert? You know what? I'm super stoked. Um, I was excited at the beginning, but you know, when you get through the set and, and you'll know, see, kind of get a feel what it's like, going to be like in terms of your music and your group energy and stuff like that. It's just gotten better and better as we're getting close to the date. So I'm very excited. And you're the lead uh, for the group. How is it? What is it like uh, managing the whole group? Like getting the group together like that? Yeah, you know, <clears throat> they'll tell you this in any group where somebody's responsible for leading. Um, it's really the people. Uh, you know, of course, that doesn't abdicate our responsibility to, to try to put things together and and to manage but really it's a twitter for music and musicians to come together and and have a little smoochy smoochy and uh also um you know ha have like have you been like uh when you're traveling do you guys like do you have the bonding moment <laughs> absolutely absolutely um you know it's not just a group um for us we have our hangouts after sometimes it can actually get a little bit late because there's a synergy in the group and so we have a lot of fun together and I assume that you guys have like a lot of amazing stories, uh, meeting weird people at live shows like that. Well, you see, this is a relatively new group, yeah. albeit we've all done shows to some extent. Um, and just for a quick background, you know, the Guns for Hire is really a concept that was born uh, out of originally what started with music mentorship yeah. specific to guitar. Okay. And back in 2019, I realized there was a need at our church for more electric guitar players. That's what I was doing. We didn't have a high abundance of those. So I started a little guitar boot camp and we were able to glean a couple of musicians from there. What I realized somewhere in the journey, though, is in order to really develop musicians, you got to have a, a platform that you can deploy musical projects. Um, and if there's any musicians out there, I'm sure you'll know this to be the case, but woodshedding we used to call it or practicing at home yeah. it, it has a lid to that ceiling whereas if you can take a, a budding musician or even a seasoned musician and insert them into a musical project it's like adding fuel to the fire wow and um you know uh, music uh it 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 is it does have a lot of power it can change a person 100%. it can uh do a lot and of course you do meet a lot of interesting musicians uh uh, with your journey. Yeah, absolutely. And mus musicians, if you know, um, uh, musician type people, they're a fascinating personality group. Yeah. They're creative, but they're also dutiful, which is a weird combination because, you know, music kind of has a dutiful time signature and a bunch of rules, albeit the best music is made when you kind of throw the rules away. So you have people that know how to follow the rules, but also know how to break them. Like going back, uh, there's there are the weird musicians, the the interesting one, the cool one, just right. just just all all kinds of people. Hundred percent. And uh, John, uh, you're here to talk about the co-op community Christmas concert. So um, can you give me a sneak peek for the people that want to go to the show? Yeah, I think it's going to be a tremendous show. Uh, we got some great acts lined up the first half of the show. I'm excited to just lay back at the first part of the concert and enjoy that. Um, we're going to have a little intermission. We're going to finish up the show. So what you can expect from us is a, a, a kind of mixed bag. And the way that we um, built the recipe for this cake, so to speak, is a few surprises are going to be in there. So um, if you like country or rock, uh, bluesy type music, you might like coming to this show. If you like some other forms of music as well, of course, the context of this is going to be Christmas. So it's very interesting how that we can fit all these genres within the context of a Christmas concert. But I think you'd be pleasantly surprised if you showed up. You might have a good time. 
Awesome, and also uh, tickets are available at moosefm.ca. Uh, Fifteen dollars, and all proceeds will go to the Fort Saint John Women's Resource Society. Uh, John, I want to say uh, thank you so much for joining me. Also, before I let you go, do you have anything else to add? Well, one thing I would like to say, just on that note, is I think it's a huge benefit when we can come together for the causes, and that's the one thing that I would love to support in terms of. Just having a shout out to co-op, shout out to the musicians. These guys are amazing. They're putting in practice and times that really is above and beyond, but it's for the purpose. It's for the cause. And so, I mean, can't say enough good things, not only between co-op, uh, Moose FM, also our musicians. They're coming out to support this cause as well. So great show on everybody. Amazing cause to support uh, the Fort St. John Women's Resource Society. They help a lot of clients in the community. And John, once again, thank you. Thank you so much for joining my show today. You betcha. Thank you, Bernard. This is the MarketsFarm.com Afternoon Show, broadcast number 172 for Monday, December 4th. I'm Glenn Halleck.